As announced, at the earliest stage of the development, we are focusing enhancing our plugin to provide the most optimal workflow for our users. As a result, we've implemented a lot of new features for Z-Rail, since the last tutorial. The opinion of our users matters. We implemented some of their requests. For that reason, we decided that it would be helpful to make another tutorial video covering some of the newest features. One of the most useful new features is the slice rail function. It allows to draw a stroke throughout the geometry. That stroke will go all the way around the polys. It will cross the shape considering the front and the back face polygons. We can create one by holding shift and left click from the outside of the silhouette, then drag throughout the other side of the shape just released to complete the current stroke. Repeat that process as much as you need in order to have more control on the overall edge flow and then press enter to generate the polygons. You can now translate the vertices with a constant evaluation with a base mesh. By doing so, the current selected component will remain snapped to the specified geometry. You can use whatever Maya's modifiers to tweak the vertex position. Of course, you can still have the benefit of the soft selection. Keep in mind that it's designed to work with vertices. Under the hood, the interface will create a custom tweak node and will take care of the required connections. After the tweak node is turned off, that node will be deleted. To quit this mode, simply switch tools to either rail mode or relax mode. To speed up your workflow, you can now move the vertices just by holding the middle mouse click. The points surrounding will also be affected depending on the tweak radius. Feel free to change the corresponding slider value to increase or decrease the influence. The points will be kept on the source surface at any time. You can either average the points with the relax brush button in the interference or with a key combination. For doing so, hold control, shift, and middle click on the selected mesh. The vertices within the brush radius and facing the camera will then be relaxed. The slider's values in the interference will be taken into consideration. An important function that our users requested is the ability to freeze the border points while relaxing. Just click on the freeze border button, the pinned vertices will be displayed as blue dots and you can relax your geometry without losing the overall shape. Clicking on the button again will toggle it on or off. You will likely want to change the V-SPAN's value quite often during the process. For the sake of a better interactivity, you can change its value just by holding shift and middle mouse button, then dragging left or right. Left will reduce the span mount and right the opposite. The patch creation form a path has been improved. The edges follow a stroke's direction so it has a better volume preservation. While creating new patch, you will notice a blue and red dot line at the borders. A yellow one would appear if the patch is created from path. It is a virtual representation of the last strokes which delimits the edges. If you change the span values, it will try to keep the same curvature. Fortunately, if one of these lines are connected, it's possible to modify them either with the relax or the move interactive brush. We enhance the border edge loop selection. It's now possible to extend the selection just by selecting more vertices along the edge loop. It will consider the previous direction and will behave as expected. Even more interesting, click twice on the first point to get the entire loop. This will greatly help us for operating on two different patches within a minimum of clicks. As explained on the previous tutorial, you can merge loops together. Furthermore, you have the ability to bridge two edge loops and set the amount of subdivisions before its creation. Anytime you merge or create a bridge on border loops, Xyrail will operate in the same amount of components for each side. You will find the length of the selection at the last extremity. Let's say you need a bridge to border. Simply control and middle click on the vertex. Xyrail will preview in blue the creation after completion. You can still modify the main selection with control shift and left click. The preview display will be adjusted accordingly. Press enter to complete. Likewise, shift and middle click to merge the border's points. The preview will be displayed in yellow instead. 
this function is convenient for the creation of a radial loop from existing polygons. Let's get a closed selection. Control shift click twice at the same point, then draw a regular stroke following the designed shape. As you can see, the new rail is closed. The direction is important. Please sure to have consistent direction to avoid reversed polygons. We change the combination to merge vertices on boundary. Hold control in the middle mouse button on the vertex. You should be able to see a helper. Finally, release the button on another one to merge them together. The resulting point will be a mid distance. Repeat the process as much as you need, but you can also merge vertices in a row. It would be convenient to select the vertices on top without the base mesh below. To avoid this kind of issue, tick on the As Reference checkbox. As much as you can see here in the Attribute Editor, it will automatically override the base mesh shape attribute to reference. The custom viewport now allows to display the selected vertices with a custom color. As we've seen earlier, it could be useful while in tweak mode for instance. Feel free to change its size as well for a better visualization. Most of the functions can be assigned with hotkeys. In the website, we have a complete list of the available shortcuts. Just assign them as custom commands on your hotkey editor and assign your preferred hotkeys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter to get notified about upcoming tools and updates. Have fun and see you next time.